Drink on. So she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey. She make it clap, clap. Stop playing now. We we number one on Billboard now. We number one. Uh, we number one on it. Yo, we number one on it. Come on now. Three million videos on TikTok. Now that's independent. That ain't no label. Talk that heavy. ain't no marketing budget. He said that's independent, nigga. That's just upload and just, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Clap, clap, clap. Yo. She make it clout. Riding around town with that strap in my lap. Ooh. She make it clout. I'm trying to grab and then hit from the back. Tell her drop it down, cause I like that. After I hit, then I be right back. I walk in the club and whip out it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She make it clout. I might have a heart attack. I walk in the club and I'm making it Had a heart attack. That ass was fat. She jumped to the ground. She know that if I run through that second, I thump through that. With that dope on fresh out the trap. Clout, clout. She make it clout. Come on, man. Gang. Hey. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. Drink out, man. Come on, man. She make it. She make it clap, clap, clap. Yeah, look, get, look, get it. Oh, come on, now, get it. Don't play with him, now, get it. Go. Yeah, yeah, we gon'. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. <laughs> clap, clap. I got Gilly to do this. She make it clap, bro. Stop playing with yeah. me, bro. Clap. Viral. She make it clap. Yeah, we ain't drink. playing out here. Hey, Come on now. Hey, talk to me. Listen, man. That's listen, that jig man. right there. That's that jig right listen, there. Listen, this that shit right here. Listen, but 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 right now, yeah. you're now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game. Yeah. Y'all know what it is. We got Big Draco in the building, right? Huh? Big Draco, man. Big Draco, huh? big, aka yeah. Mr. Internet, Mr. I started this shit. I was the first to do Mister, it. Mr. I gave y'all 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 sauce. I, I did. Come you understand? On, I popped this internet shit off. I got did. the back. I did. They try to say I killed hip hop. I birthed the new hip hop way. I'm the reason why it's YouTube streaming, all that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh. Blueprint. The Who the fuck says you kill hip hop? Ice T. Damn. Damn. You ever see Ice? Uh, did I? I don't think I never met this man. Damn. But you feel as though you you took it to another level. I know I took it to another level. Mm -hmm. I can smoke it here. Yeah, yeah, do you? <laughs> do you? Listen. Yeah, bro. I know I took it to another level for real. What, what, what was in your mind when you first popped it off, man? When you first uh, you, had, you had that you had that computer, you upload your shit. Oh uh, shit! Trying to trying to make it out the hood. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Trying to make it. Trying to get some money. You feel what I'm saying? And shit, the rapping just came. Rapping came, YouTube, you feel what I'm saying? I started like, I, I felt like I couldn't get my music on the radio and the TV. And even if I did get my radio on the TV, they only play your song one time on the radio throughout the day. Mm -hmm. They only play your song one time, your music video, one time on BET, MTV, whatever, on TV out the day. On the internet, the fans can listen to your music a thousand times in a row. They can listen to your, they can watch your video a hundred times in a row, four in the morning, three in the afternoon, whenever they want to. So I'm like, bro, I gotta take over the internet, you feel what I'm saying? And it went from the internet, to radio, to TV. And it just changed the game for you. Yeah, it changed the game for everybody. Now you can, now a young kid that's sitting at the crib that was my age, 16, 17, can stand in his hood, record a song, record it on YouTube, record the video by itself, edit it on the computer, upload it, and get a record deal for millions of dollars. I did that. You was the first? I was the first. Look it up, ask YouTube. Mm, talk heavy. And you was running the bag up straight directly to you. What you ran it through TuneCore at the beginning? How did you run it? How did you? It was TuneCore didn't even exist when I was. Oh, it was just strictly YouTube. Oh. Nah. So when I was getting money, it was called SoundClick. Now they got SoundCloud. I had, it was a website called. It was a website called SoundClick, and I was getting fifty thousand dollars, fifty thousand downloads a day. I was charging ninety nine cent for the song, but they would take a fifty percent split, so I was getting twenty five thousand a day. In high school, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was doing that for months. I still got this PDF, the screenshot to this day. I kept that on file because I'm like, I can't believe in myself. Like, bro, I'm like 15, 16, making 25000 a day. This before a record deal, this before anything. Just straight off a of sound clip. Yeah. And when they came with that deal, they came with the real bag. They seen your shit. <laughs> what? With the bag. Jimmy Iveen in the scope. Yeah. What? Yeah. That shit was stupid. <laughs> that shit was. Yeah. Hold on, before we go any farther. This episode of Million yes. Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. <sighs> Life is kicking your ass. Yes. Shot of New Amsterdam Vodka. You know, fucked up day. Shot of New Amsterdam Vodka. 
shit ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. Caught your bitch cheating on you today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. And uh, you might have to, you might have to make a mixture with that one. She you caught her cheating on you. She had the pipe in her hand. That's a whole nother story. Well, that's you know? two shots in New Amsterdam vodka. Yeah. That's all that is. She yeah. caught her cheating with the pipe in her hand. Yes, yes, that might be two, three shots in New Amsterdam vodka. But this is still five times filter, three times for that clean, crisp finish. You know what I'm saying? And when you're out and about at your local liquor store, make sure you pick up some New Amsterdam vodka. The official vodka of Barstool Sports and the presenting sponsor of Million, Million Dollars Worth, worth of game. game. And shout out to the, the New Hampshire damn queen, my wife, too. The, you know, she be at the crib making her cocktails, you know, with her girlfriends, you know, New Hampshire damning it up. So when you're yes. out and about, make sure you get you some New Hampshire damn vodka. Draco. Y'all go get that new that's the name of Barker. Man. Yeah, it's a fucking yes, loot. Hey, get that soldier soda too. I'm the first hey, rapper. Oh, let me get some it's of this. It's that pineapple cream, pineapple exotic. You know what I'm saying? You like that. You like that's that. That's for Gilly the kid. You love that. My shit. boy Wallow, come on, man. Stop playing, man. <laughs> I got it all. What's going on? Yeah, that's, 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 that's that pineapple okay. cream. You mix it with that new Amsterdam. You know what I'm saying? Cookie mm. G. Right. Hey, you might good mix this with some new Amsterdam. Mm. Sadik Pop ain't playing no games. They 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 showing the hood love. Mm -hmm. Whole hood. Major. Shout out to Soldier. He got his own uh own drink. His own soda, man. I got my own soda, man. Y'all right Pop. Man. Yes, sir. Big Draco. I got my own lemonade too. Bow I sell do-rags. I'm trying to tell him. Like, bro, you tripping, bro. You selling do-rags and shit, bro. I'm like, I got video game console. I'm the first rapper to come out with his own video game console. So 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 all right. So, ain't never been so you know before. I'm the first to do a lot of shit. So I'm the first rapper with a throwback jersey in the video. Swear. Swear. On everything. That's hard. You a trendsetter. Who man. you the all what's all the things yeah, you the hard, first to do? Because I wore a throwback jersey after that. So that's do you a hard think trend. do you think you did more first than me? You've been around longer than me, so probably not. But well, hold on. Let's see. What's you the first to do? I was the first rapper on YouTube. Okay. The first on YouTube, like first rapper ever on YouTube. I'm the first rapper to have his own video game console. Oh, you can't fuck with Wallow. Wallow was the first rapper to throw a uh, barbecue in the prison on the lawn. I wasn't, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> you, did, you did that? <laughs> no. Yes, he no. did. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, he did. He ain't do that, guy. Yes, he did. did. <laughs> <laughs> he might did that. I don't know. <laughs> said, oh, see, you'll do I that shit. Soldier put no, his mud on my name. He got a lot of first so no, I'm telling you. He ain't do it. But yeah, man, I the first. I was the first rapper on Twitch. It used to be called Justin TV. Mm. I first rapper to have a video game crew. I had I, I had SODMG Gamers before esports was a thing. Mm. Esports came out in 2010. Google it, YouTube it, Wikipedia, whatever you got to do. I had SODMG Gamers since 2004. Mm. Mm. I'm the one that made it cool for you to be playing Xbox on Twitch and getting subscribers and going live. I did that. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was me, bro. Like, come on, bro. I been did it. I, everything, I done did it. I done did it, bro. That's a motherfucking song. Anything you niggas talk about, I, mean, I done did it. What inspired you to just go these different routes and just do shit like that? What, what was like? You was like, fuck it, I'm going to do some different shit. Man, bro, I got tired of struggling, bro. I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, waking up with nothing on Christmas, just watching my mom struggle. I'm like, man, like I got to do something. You feel what I'm saying? I got to do it fast. I'm like, Burger King, I had when I got a job. All that wasn't working, like, even, like, trapping, like, all that slow. You know what I'm saying? It's risky. I'm like, bro, I need something legal. I need something fast. And I need millions. I got to be able to get my mom out the hood. I got to take care of my little brother, like my sister. It was a whole bunch. Of, I'm just like, damn, like, I need to take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm going to school. Niggas got the new J's. I want the new J's, too. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, I got to make some work. And I, with me just sitting there with them thoughts in my head, I'm like, yo, let me hit the studio. Let me rap. Let me go. I was trying everything and anything to get some money. Yeah. I was cutting grass. I was, you know what I'm saying, just doing whatever to try to make some money. And then the rap started catching on. You feel what I'm saying? The first video started doing like two, three million like overnight. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I started getting booked for show. I was getting 20,000 a show unsigned like yeah. as a kid. Still in high school, leaving mm -hmm. on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, doing three shows, come back on Monday through Friday, doing the, you know what I'm saying? The whole time through high school, bro. I really started this whole shit for the young niggas. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The young rappers, the new, everybody that came after me, it's Big Draco, bro. Versus is just over. Pee -wee, I heard that was the uh, <laughs> the most watched verses ever. Is that the truth? Yeah, we still waiting on the final numbers, but yeah, they said we broke we broke it. Yeah, we broke the record and stuff like that. Big shout out to Swiss Beats and Timberland for having me. I appreciate it. 
Shout out to Lil Pee Wee, you know what I'm saying? I told him not to do it. But, 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 but what do you say to people that, because on the internet, it was a lot of people saying Bow Wow One. What do you say to the people that say Bow Wow One? I ain't never seen one person say Bow Wow One. No, no, no. I've I, I, I seen a few people say I didn't say see it. it. I was looking at the whole Twitter. All I saw was my name. I saw a blog say that he won, but you know what I oh, mean? Okay. You know they got labels that'll pay them. They'll pay Billboard to put an article out. Y'all hold, 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 labels be paying people? Hold up, break that down. What? Don't, bro. Y'all like, know Bow Wow ain't beat me in the verses. So if you see a blog saying that I that he beat me, obviously that was paid. What the street said, what the internet said, what the stop playing. This man ain't had a song in 10 years. All I got, she make a clap with Nicki Minaj, friends, my son. I killed this man. Crank that guy over you. I'm not finna sit here and explain myself, bro. That man paid Billboard to post that shit. I'm not stupid. I've been in this game for so long. Bow Wow, sit your Pee Wee, sit your ass down. You know you lost, nigga. <laughs> On game, that nigga know he lost. He'll <laughs> tell you himself he lost. I gotta call him. Bow, did you lose? Yeah, he gonna be like, yeah, I lost. You know Draco got that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bow, come on, man. Did you see that Harlem shake he did? That shit was crazy. I'm like, bro, you done lost it, man. What is that? That's not the same dance you were doing in that video, Shad. What the hell was that? That nigga got the jumping in. Shad. He, he th- I'm like, bro, what is you doing, bro? You yeah, that was it. And I be telling him, I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. What, that's not the Harlem shake, that, Gilly. What no, is no, that? No, no, no. No, but he threw his hands in the air. That was a little. I was like, that when he lost right there. I'm like, you ain't do it. If he would have hit the seawalk, I told him what to do. Get the braids, the cornrows, hit the seawalk. And do the Harlem Shake. He messed all that up. Come on, man. Lil' Romeo came out there on this, man. He was scared ducking Romeo all the time. So you finna face your fears, nigga. What <laughs> you gotta see That this. was his fears. That was his fears. How long it was his fears? Why? 15 years he ain't seen Romeo on the scene. You didn't hear what Romeo said? Soldier Boy, the first one to put Romeo and Bow Wow in the same room, the same stage. So you was the first to do that shit? <laughs> duck and smoke, nigga. You finna see this nigga, nigga. You wanna versus me instead of Romeo. <laughs> Romeo, get come on, Bow Wow. Get your ass out here. You finna see this, man. He was scared of hell, Romeo. I said, it's great, Bow It's cool. Master P, them no limit sauces in that motherfucker. Shout out to Romeo, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was a beautiful thing for hip hop, like, because everybody know I come from the trenches. I was watching Bow Wow on TV as a kid in the trenches. I was watching your little Romeo on his kids as a trenches. On MTV Cribs having all this money and Lambos and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, I need in on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now I'm in the game. I done did a song with this man. I done did a verses with this man. Bro, I done, I done bro, anybody from my hood, like, bro, this nigga is a legend. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I really did this shit. So I'm going to do what I want to do, nigga. I want to see Lil Romeo and Bow Wow on stage. You know what I'm saying? That's Because right. I knew, I seen y'all niggas beefing. I seen the shine like me. I seen the you, freshers on me. I know the shit. You dig what I'm saying? So I felt like that was good for the culture. That needed to be done. That would have never happened if it wasn't for me. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you, I mean, you're 100% right about that. You bought the nigga on stage. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you did. You know, but shout out to UN Bow Wow, in versus in uh, Swiss and Timberland, and you know, for you know, Making just give happen. happen. Little yeah. Pee Wee, that's his name now. That's uh, little Pee Wee, that's his name. We address him as Little Pee Wee. He'll tell you, I'm finna give him the bust down chain, the Little Pee Wee chain. Why you just don't get LPW? I'm like, bro, I told him that too. I be telling Bow Wow about all this stuff. I'm like, bro, he did the Bow Wow challenge. I'm like, bro, what you doing, bro? You tripping. When he put up on the little boat with the girl, the little bitty yacht, I'm like, bro, what you doing? <laughs> it just be stuff that I be telling like, because that's my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, bro, stop doing that shit, bro. You tripping. What's wrong with a little bitty yacht, man? What, what you, what's not wrong? He, you see he went viral. You don't want to be going viral on the little yacht, dude. <laughs> You don't want to be going viral on a little yacht. You want to be on the big on the big boat. You know what I'm saying? At least yeah. get a jet ski, nigga. Like, what yeah. is you doing? <laughs> You'd have took a jet ski over the boat. By I would have took a jet. Them, they look like they were finna fall off and drown. I'm like, damn, <laughs> grab the girls. They about to, that shit about to tip over. Y'all tripping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we ain't gonna do bow. Yeah. Like, you ain't gonna have like me. what? But though, you, you, ain't gonna, but no, you, gonna you ain't see the video. You not gonna sit here. You ain't see the video of the bow Soldier, challenge. You, not gonna you ain't see the video of the little Drake, video boat. Draco, you not gonna see and say bow wow had bitches on the boat that was so little the bitches about to drown. It was <laughs> that boat. So a jet ski was bigger Did than you the boat. See the, don't make me pull up this video with this little bitty boat. Don't do that. Wait, wait. Don't so you saying it. that uh, you saying two jet skis was bigger than a nigga boat? Bro, I'm telling you, he should have took a jet ski instead of that boat. Like, he tripping. I'm like, bro, what is you doing? Hold How on. many bitches he had on the boat with Man, him? Man, he had like 20 bitches on a, on a lifeboat. <laughs> 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 On the escape, I'm like, bro, it yeah, man, crazy, sure. Man. I'm pulling this video up, man, cause y'all must ain't see the video. I see. He, he had 20 bitches. Yeah, <laughs> 20 motherfucking bitches life, life, life rather. Oh, he better be glad. All I see is verses. 
<laughs> see, you clean your image up with that verse, boy. Why you better be glad, boy. I can't find the boat, boy. I think you're tripping. All I see is verses, boy. You, ooh, boy. You smart. You smart. That nigga was going viral as hell for that little bit of that boat. Hey, boy. let me ask you this. What's the most women you ever had in a hotel room at one time? I don't know how many how many girls I had in the hotel at the same time. Probably like 40, 50 or something like that. What the fuck was you doing with 40, 50? Just after the club, everybody get on the tour bus and just come to the suite. You just turn up. Gang. You just turn right the fuck up. Man, y'all some rappers. Y'all acting like y'all ain't never did that shit before. <laughs> I'm just that, no, I'm married, man. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Don't throw me in there with you. Give me, give me this shit a hundred times. Give me, you the nigga started this shit with the bitches on the tour bus. Nigga, don't have that. You the nigga started this shit with the girls in the hotel room, nigga. Hey, two, I ain't start shit. You was first to do that shit. What you talking You was first to do everything else, nigga. You was first to do that shit, too. Oh, I got to hold on, man. Let me clean this shit up. My wife, too. I don't know what the fuck Drake over here talking about. Nah, nah, I got y'all the first to I, I was the first to do it. I don't it. know what he talking about. He, he was the first, the first nigga first to put him on the bus, huh? <laughs> hey, man. What's all your first, though, that people they ain't already hear about that nobody noticed your first? Man, I was the first rapper with the iPhone. <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> fuck? It was how Crank, you, it was wait, crank I, that video shoot 2007. Steve Jobs and Apple team came to it. I was in a swimming pool doing instruction to dance, showing the people how to do the dance. We was on set of the Crank that video. They came. They brought me the iPhone. They said Steve Jobs himself Steve came. Steve Jobs they said, and, and Apple, the whole team, said this the first iPhone. Ooh, wah, wah, wah. They put the phone in my hand. It was the first one. Not iPhone 2, 3, 4, the iPhone. Put the shit in my hand. And when they put it in my hand, it like slipped like that and dropped. And the whole shit broke to pieces. And everybody like mouth dropped, jaw dropped, was looking at me crazy. Like, oh, my God. And then they were like, we're going to get you another and do the little. And then they brought me another one. And I had that shit for like, what, three, four months before like I seen other people having it and shit. How much they paid? They paid you a shitload of money? I can't talk about that, bro. Wait, no no okay. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> He can't talk about the sponsorship. But okay, I can't talk about that, man. Well, shit, because you, if you, for I you, can't to, talk about that. For you to be the first one, you introduced that to the culture. I got my hands in a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like to talk about shit. Like niggas get yeah. the counter pockets and watching yeah, and hating yeah. and shit. I just be sitting yeah, there okay. chilling, working, CEO shit like shit. I sold you exotic, sold you soda, y'all worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Apple and all that Facebook, we keep that on the back end. So, oh, yeah, so, right. so this your weed right here? That's huh? my weed, soldier exotics. Let me see, soldier exotics. So let me know. Working with you, let me know. Gil smoke Reggie, so he right. Got me <laughs> fucked up, nigga. I smoke the best of the know. best, nigga. That shit some gas though. You smelling it too long? Nigga. Yeah, it's Charles Barkley. You feel me? That shit purple too. You got to look. Put it out. No, Charles Barkley bad, YouTube. man. You got to put the lights. No, I'm just you fucking with you. <laughs> no, I'm just no, fucking no. with you. It's some gas. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I don't even know what Charles Barkley mean. I thought he would give me a compliment. God damn, Gilly, you dissing on See, the nigga did, and shit. You, you got to straighten him out, nigga. Straighten him out. He got a stand box for that. No, 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 that's Charles Barkley. I'm like, appreciate it, bro. That nigga call my weed trash as hell. Nigga, that's Zaza. Nigga, don't play with me. Come on, bro. Stop playing, nigga. Hey, hey they gonna find us. Hey, no, 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 please, please. Don't, don't do, that. do that. Don't pull uh, uh, it. Right. You got a nigga sit over here with uh, fucking. Uh, you sit over here on the mother loo. Mother loo uh, sit on the floor for no reason. Oh, that we rolling out the pounds. Stop playing. Like, like he smoking. Like he gonna smoke all that shit today. You're not, bro. You could have just packed up like five of these and you would have been good. I need it on me, you man. You got the game shit, I might gotta pass this out to y'all. I need the whole need that. I'm definitely gonna take it. We in Cali where it's legal at. Yeah. If we was riding around, goddamn, you know what I'm saying, yeah. New York or got Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We in Cali. Them folks ain't finna say nothing. I'm riding around with that bad gas everywhere I go, not running out. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, now, now let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about when you was ready to fuck him up, uh, soldier. Because I, I no, was rude back for in you. the day, back in the I day. I was rude for soldier. I think back, soldier was going to tighten you the fuck so, up. Some years ago, you know, soldier went off on me on the internet. He said, he said, uh, I be going out. What the fuck you talking about, Gilly? Oh, bowhead ass nigga. <laughs> nigga, your knees bad, nigga. Don't fuck with me, nigga. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Okay. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. <laughs> Dave was trying to set up a boxing match with me. So you know I was going, you know I was going to grease you, right? I mean, we know, I, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We I, I don't think, I, I think so. Grease got you. Hey, we ain't never Drink know. Drink all the, we ain't never know. <laughs> 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 we we'll never know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's all good, man. It ain't nothing like that. I be going off on a lot of people. I just be reacting quick. You know what I'm saying? Now I feel like I be like more chill and just like think about stuff and I can just like Nigga, you ain't more chill. Get the fuck out of here. This nigga <laughs> Bow Wow. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up cuz. He Wait, told me he more chill. You acting like hold I up, cuz. Hold up. He told me he more what chill. Happened? Oh shit. Oh shit. What's that? Oh shit. What's that? 
What's that? Hold it, bro. Hey, Gilly the Kid, guess what? But you got me fucked up, you <laughs> broke ass nigga. You think I'm gonna fucking box you in the ring for some money? I don't need no fucking money, nigga. I got money. How about I knock your bitch ass? You ain't gonna get no money off me, you broke. <laughs> okay. I love it. Okay, I love nah, it. I just, I just was re reacting quick. Like, I love it. You want to fuck him? I forgot you I'll fuck you up, nigga. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'd have put my money on Draco. Hey man, come on, man. He'd have been the first to beat your ass on, on, on uh, Twitch. <laughs> what it would have been? What you would have got it on Twitch is on Bro, Facebook. We put it on, tr on Triller. We put it on Triller. <laughs> first to beat. I'm the first to beat Gilly ass on, nah, on, on Triller. Nah, man. Yeah, I seen Gilly got some hands though. I, he yeah. know I beat him the fuck up on this same. <laughs> you know, the same <laughs> show I tended his fucking you eyes up. Shit. You a fucking yes, you know what I did to you. Tended your shit like a motherfucker eighty six limo. Tended your shit right up. Nah, man, it's all love. No, man. it is. You it's know what I mean. And and for the, all the youth out there, understand that you know I would have never seen younger that had an issue with him or none of that shit. Because at the end of the day, I'm a grown ass man. You know what I mean. I I know that you know. You know, he's an entertainer. He wasn't really, you know, and I, so I entertained it as well, you know, but if we would have did the boxing match, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll never know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You never know. I like okay. that. Okay. I'd have had my money on Draco. <laughs> you keep playing, I'm going to beat you the I'm fuck saying, up. I, I know what I would have better on. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Jack Pocket Lottery App. Now, Jack Pocket Lottery App is the easiest way I'm talking about the easiest way for you to play your favorite lottery games right from your smartphone. Play Mega Millions, Powerball, Cash for Life, Take Five, and all the other daily games. Plus, you can get automatic alerts when you win and even receive the prizes right from your phone. Jackpocket is now available in New York and nine other states, including New Jersey, Texas, and more. Jackpocket is the safe, easiest way to get your lottery tickets. Pick your own lucky numbers, instantly withdraw your winnings from your bank account. Over 25 million prizes have already been won. So make sure y'all download Jackpocket immediately. Play tonight's Mega Million or Powerball Jackpot for free using code BARSTOOL. Okay, so play the Mega Million Powerball Jackpot for free using code BARSTOOL. All you have to do is download the Jackpocket app and get busy. Put the code in too. You must be 18 to play. See details. If you know someone who needs help in, with a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Right. How long you been in the game? I've been in the game professionally since 2007. I got signed that summer, like on my birthday, like July, like when I turned 16. I mean, 17. I was 16, like July 2000. I mean, July 28, 2007, professionally. But I've been rapping since like 2004. In your 14 years of being in the game, what's the fakest shit about the game? Everything. You feel me? This shit all fake. Ain't nothing real about it. But ain't nothing wrong with that. It's an industry. It ain't nobody coming into this shit for it to be real. This ain't family. These ain't friends. This just shit a business. You dig what I'm saying? But like, you meet some genuine people in it. You know what I'm saying? And you meet some 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 weird people in it. Just like you would meet anywhere in life. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I love it, man. I love the music game. It's like, I look at this shit like any other sport i look at it like a sport like basketball or football you just gotta grind you gotta grind 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 for that championship win type shit like you know what i'm saying i'm in this shit for the long haul when i first came in niggas told me oh you gonna be a one hit wonder woo -woo. niggas 2021 i'm still dropping hits you dig what i'm saying so it's just like i'm in this shit for the long haul bro i'm in this shit for the legacy i'm in this shit for real i ain't in this shit for just one and done or quick or get some money and you know what i'm saying because i got money i could have been quick you feel me like but I, I got a purpose in this shit. I started this shit. <laughs> That's right. How the fuck I'm just going to leave some shit I started? I created this whole shit. I'm in this shit. From 2007 up to current, what was your darkest years in the game? Dark years. Like Man, the, I just feel you like. Know, you you might have been going through some personal shit. You know, you might have been. Just jail. You know what I'm saying? Jail. Like, jail. I just kept getting locked up and shit. And it's just like, I can't blame nobody but myself, though, because if at a point in time I felt like, man, I'm being targeted, and why the fuck I keep getting locked up? And like, and it was for the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, 
after I went to jail the last time, that was the longest time I ever went to jail. You feel me? So I really had a How lot long of, you was locked up for? It gave me eight months, but I did four. You know what I'm saying? Anytime mm-hmm. I ever went to jail before that, I got out like the next day or the same night. Right. So just sending that bitch them four months felt like four years. Oh, what was, what was, uh, we got a segment story from the cell. What, what was some crazy shit that you seen in jail that had you like, man, what the fuck is I'm doing in this joint? Just everything. Niggas getting stabbed and shit. Like just. The food, just the, everything was just crazy. It, it was a bro, you know, <laughs> that shit was a whole nother world. That shit hold ain't up, hold up, soldier. Stories from the cell. Uh, niggas, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, man, that shit ain't nothing like, you know what I'm saying? The, the streets, like the outside world. And it's the LA County Jail. So that shit was just kind of like, that shit was different. You dig what I'm saying? But it definitely like made me more focused when I got out. I like, I'm like, okay, I know what I want to do exactly. And I, I felt like I had more focused to, you know, do what I want to do with my career, my music, my label, just everything in life. You dig what I'm saying? So, Like right now, a lot of these young brothers seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of youngins locked up. They getting locked up rapidly in the rap game. Big names. Oh, to the cats that's in here that's trying to get in the game, that's warming up in the game, what advice will you get to them to stay away from the dumb shit? All right, here go the sauce. Everybody get locked up for scraps, bro. Just get your strap in your name and call it a day. <laughs> that, that's your advice. Get your straps in your name, huh? Call it a day. Niggas got dirty scraps, rhyme around with 100 bands. Police pull you over. It's over with. Like, niggas but, don't be thinking. But, okay. That's it. So, if I'm riding around with 100 bands, right? Yeah. Why well, I just don't want to hire top-notch security? Do that, too. Whatever you want to do. But, nigga, some niggas want to shoot for themselves. But that defeats the purpose of having the security. Because, see, if I got security with me, right? You can't never put all your cars in one thing. I ain't never finna just put my life in another nigga's hands. Y'all got my back, too, but I got my back in these motherfuckers' life. I feel you. But but then again, you That's put, how the rappers feel, though. Right. And they coming from the streets, and they rapping that shit, so they feel like they got to stand on that. They feel like that's how they mentality is. You dig what I'm saying? Right. But ain't nothing whole, wrong with having security. But my mm-hmm. whole thing is, right? If you hire some motherfuckers to protect you, right, and they all got licensed guns, and y'all get into a shootout, and you shooting a pistol that's unlicensed, you just jeopardized everything. That's why I just said, get the scrap in your name, Gilly. But I'm saying a lot of motherfuckers catch cases early. That's what I'm saying. They yeah. can't get the strap in their name. Yeah. You know, a lot of motherfuckers, before they blow up, they already got cases. That's so they can't get that strap. That's why when you make all that show money, you got to take that shit, go get your record expunged, go get your good-ass lawyer, do whatever the fuck, the much as you can do to clear that shit up, nigga, so you can get your shit right, nigga. Don't what? just let it linger and go on like, oh, I'm just going to give up. Nigga, beat, you got money now, nigga. Go fight it. Go try something. Go do something. You got enough money to make some shake where you can ride around this bitch, right? What about the niggas that ain't that they ain't nigga? You got two gun cases. We don't give a fuck how much money you got. This on your record. And go get your homeboy that you grew up with. They're gonna bust for you and have him beside you with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Get the nigga, you know what I'm saying? You can't totally get your homeboy for that you grew up with. That you know how you know he gonna bust. Boss. You know he gonna bust. All you gotta tell him, boss. Boom, boom, boom. You know he gonna do it. You ain't got to worry about security. Oh, yeah, yeah, nigga, good job, nigga. Crazy. Hold on, get the fuck out of the way. Shoot him up. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Little shoot him up. Oh, Little shoot God, him up. Go crazy. to work. You feel this me? Be crazy. <laughs> it's, hey, it's just how, just the life and culture that we living in in 2021 in the rap game. It's really serious like that. Ops exist. Niggas ain't finna go out bad for nothing. Do, do, is a lot of niggas making up ops, though? Shh. Imaginary Cause, ops. Because let me just say, everybody can't have ops. Like, how all the rappers, all the rappers got ops. Everybody. Like, because it's a smile game. One nigga might be fucking a nigga bitch. One nigga might be affiliated and have an op just because he, he clicked up with this click. It shit go. Let me deep. ask you a question. Is bitches the reason for the, the main reason for ops? A bitch is always the reason behind any problem. It's always a bitch. Anybody ever, always a bitch. Anybody nigga. ever coming to you sideways about a bitch? Ah, knocking it, man. Nigga, know not to play with me by. Listen. Cause you in the industry, so you been. I'm pretty sure in the industry you pop it. Yeah, you blaze nigga bitch couple. You blaze a couple niggas bitches in the industry. Yeah. You know it's an industry small, so you know they find out behind closed doors. A lot of times they keep shit a secret. A nigga ain't never approach you. Damn dog, you knew that was my bitch, bro. Like, and you yeah. like nigga. Yeah, she yeah. chose on me, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. She wanted these nuts. Yeah. You had to do that a few times. Yeah. Behind closed doors, huh? 
shit in the public behind closed doors. Like, oh, that shit that came out in the public. Y'all do y'all research, but yeah, man, you know how this shit goes. It's a, it's a small <laughs> y'all industry. Y'all do y'all research. You know, you it's right smart. here, nigga. We asking it's you who bitch you did the soldier. I just don't like talking. I feel like yeah. that shit was in the past. That's a long time yeah. ago. It ain't like recent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, cool. it happened all the time. Like, I'm pretty sure you'd hit a couple of these rappers. Oh yeah, you were you married? My fault. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I ain't, yeah, I wasn't the first nigga to hit nigga rapper niggas bitches. He, <laughs> he, 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 he was the first nigga to hit rapper niggas. Gil was the first nigga to hit a bitch. Hit a nigga bitch. I know what y'all heard about you, Gilly. Old ass nigga. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Man. He'd be like, Wallow was the first nigga to start the, uh, the butt naked out. wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, you know that ass. Hey, y'all niggas, guys. Fuck out of here. Maybe put my fucking hands on you. I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Y'all niggas, that's what you're saying. Speak at me like that again. Y'all niggas, y'all get a TV show, man. What the fuck is wrong with his nut ass? Fuck out of here. 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 <laughs> I didn't mean to say no, that. No, no. How do you do 20 years in jail and then tell a nigga I'm going to knock you out and kiss you? No, that's just for you, man. You can't even take that on That's no, just for like, you, cuz. No. That's some extra ultra spicy burrito shit, man. <laughs> You're going to knock all, me out and kiss it. me. Like, it's out all of all the shit you could do, not <laughs> knock me out and kick me, you knock me out and kiss me. What type of shit is You look you? like you would like some shit like that. The but fuck that's out of here, you fucking nut. <laughs> hey, listen, right? Like, yeah, uh... Let's speak about the, endo- the, uh, the like the endorse the sponsorship game, the endorsement games. How, how many endorsements you had since you've been in the, in a in, in the rap game? God, damn, I don't know. A lot, a lot though. Is it more money in that than it is in the music? Hell no. Nah. I mean, but it's probably different for me because I wrote like you gotta think about. It. I be telling niggas all the time, bro. Like my first single, right? Crank that soldier boy. Yeah, the shit went like ten times platinum. Five million ringtones, five million singles. You know what I'm saying? Ten million sales. I wrote the song. I made the beat. So I own 100 percent of the publishing. Nigga, do the math. You know what I'm saying? Then my first album, I produced the whole album, nigga. Every song from top to bottom, and I wrote every track. And the album went platinum. You dig what I'm saying? So my ch- music check, nigga, was different from niggas. Right. Mm-hmm. Nigga might get a royalty check. That shit was saying M's, them stupid M's on the red. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why I feel like I got a lot of my hate from because nigga like, damn. like Because niggas don't, if a nigga do write his song, he ain't made the beat. He got a producer. If a nigga did make the beat, he ain't wrote the song. He got a ghostwriter. Right. Yeah. A nigga never did both of them. You know what I'm saying? So I my music bag was different from endorsements. Yeah, I made, I made, I made a lot of money from both. But the music shit, bro, come on, bro. Just off crank that alone. We ain't even got to add nothing else. Just off crank that. One of the first motherfuckers to do that, though, had to be Kanye West. Kanye right? West. Nah, mm-hmm. but he can't. Wait, let me slow down. Let me get this shit right now. He was around the same time, though. I remember Kanye, though. But, yeah, he was before me. He was before me on Gang. He was before me. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because Kanye was a producer and a writer. That was dope. Right. But the nigga started off just making beats. He went always no rapper. No, he started he rapping, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Yo, you know what I'm saying? It's a rare, it's a rare skill to do that. Produce and cause niggas don't take that serious. If you making the beat saying, nigga, you a producer or a rapper, like which one is you? You right. know what I'm saying? But nigga, that's how I changed the game so much. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man, I don't care what I'm finna do whatever. I'm nigga, I was dancing, making the beat, nigga, shooting, you know what I'm saying? Right. Editing the video, whatever the fuck we gotta do to get this shit to sell. Like on LimeWire, changing the name of the song to goddamn some other shit, tricking niggas to download the song. Like what was LimeWire? It was a place like Napster where you could go and download music for free, like illegally, where you ain't got to pay for it. And I go look at like the top 10 most downloaded songs online, which at the time was probably like Britney Spears, 50 Cent, yeah, some shit like that. And I, I uploaded my phone when I first started rapping, I uploaded that crank that song and I renamed it like 50 Cent and Britney Spears and Michael Jackson and all that shit. And that shit started doing millions of downloads. So when niggas start clicking it and hitting play, thinking they getting this song, it was you. Dun, dun, dun. So my, you know, niggas be like, who is this? So because I was saying my name, crank that song in the song. So niggas would go look me up in my plays, which is going fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's how it started. It went from that to it was just like a, a process of each different fucking site. You know what I'm saying? So even you coming out, you put the trickery game down on finesse niggas off the top. Like I'm, I got to get in the game some type of way. Yeah. Like I can't be passing out CDs. And, and who gave you the game on that, or was Nobody. you just smart enough? Nobody. I was sitting on the internet trying to figure that shit out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really was trying to figure it out. Like, how can I get my music out to these people? And that's what I came up with. Million Dollars Worth of Game is also brought to you by Roman Swipes. One thing about Roman Swipes that help all you two quarter guys. 
get through the whole game. I'm talking about the whole game and maybe even overtime. It depends how you're feeling. But one thing there, Roman swipes are clinically proven ways to last longer in bed. I'm talking about you, you know. Listen, you don't want to get to bed and don't be able to last, man. You're going to have a problem. She's going to talk about you to her friends, family. But she's going to talk about you. And she's going to give you an attitude that you really ain't got time to be dealing with. I'm telling you, they're effective. They're easy to use. They're fast acting. But don't require a prescription. You don't even need a prescription to use these. I'm so, you think about this. You don't need no prescription. You're going to go from only playing one to two quarters because that's all you do anyway. That's why she be giving you attitude now to playing the whole game and maybe even, you know, scoring. In overtime to win the championship game. Think about that. Uh, guess what else? Roman swipes. I'm talking. About, I'm talking. About they're discreet. I'm talking. About they're unmarked packaging, and each swipe package is small enough to hide in your wallet. You have it right in your wallet. Nobody even know. Super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the packet. Whip whip. Swipe it on and let it dry. And you're going to make her fly. Roman swipe. What you need to do right now is go to GetRoman.com slash game. You can get your first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. Roman swipes. What are you waiting for? Who was the first artist that when you was coming in the game, they walked up on you and was like, Soldier Boy, what's up, man? I fuck with you. And you was fucked up like, oh, nigga, that's... That's such a... Yo, like this shit really going down. Yeah, they they want me. Probably was like, um, when this was, this was like 2000. I done met so many people. I'm trying to think of the first one, though. Like, really, the first, first one for me. It probably was like 50, though. Like, 50. When I met 50 Cent, I was like, yeah, I knew this shit was real then. I was like, yeah, this shit real as hell. Oh, 50 walked up on you. Yeah, that shit was the whole G unit. All sure them niggas. Yeah, man, I'm fuck with you. Man, so. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. I was still young, too. Like, fresh out of high school. I think I was still in high school. Yeah. And, like, he just chopped it up with me and just told me, like, bro, you know, woo. And then that's when I, like, I knew it was like, like I could do this shit. Like it was real. You know mm-hmm. what I'm I already was doing my thing, but that just kind of like solidified this shit. To you, what was your biggest moment? My biggest moment? Up to date. Because you, you still might have your biggest moment ahead of you in um, life. But up to date, what was your biggest moment? What was your most proud accomplishment? Mm-hmm. I mean, so far, probably being nominated for a Grammy, even though I didn't win, though. But that shit was fire. Like Kanye won that year. And I was just like, man, like I'm at the Grammys, I'm a teenager, like what the fuck? Like that shit was fire. I feel like that was that was the one. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't win. Just but being, just even being in just, the category yeah. of getting yeah. your name mentioned for yeah. whatever it was in the in the world and you like you heard that. Soldier boy, you was yeah. like Psh. Oh man, I made it. It's at like the Grammys, bro. I'm like, I was fucked up. I was like, damn, bro, what the hell? I'm still mad about that shit. <laughs> I want to win that shit so bad, bro. Man, I want that Grammy so bad. That's why I'm still in this shit. I feel like that's a part of it. I want that fucking Grammy bad. If you would have got that Grammy, you would have cried on stage? Hell no. Nah. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm saying niggas get emotional. Nah, man. we ain't crying on I'm Grammy. just saying a lot. I would have got lit. I probably would have just, you know, I would have been lit, but we ain't not. Nah. But what I'm saying is, bro, you put thousands on top of thousands on top of thousands of hours in yeah. to your craft, yeah. right? Yeah. If your shit don't pop off, well, let me rephrase that. I don't know what I would have did, but what you else? You got to take a lot of scrutiny when your shit don't pop off as an artist. You yeah. got to sit there. You got to read all them fucking comments. Yeah, he whack. He corny. He yeah. lost it. He ain't got it no more. Yeah. Nigga fell off. What the fuck is this? I used to like it. He so two thousand in this. Yeah. He you gotta so when you put that work in, and it actually pay off. And then good. and then you you hit that stage and you realize that damn I'm number one right now in the world. I can see why a nigga shed a tear. Like it ain't right. like it ain't no 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 less of a man or none of that in in saying damn my work paid off. Yeah. Nah, you right. You know what I'm I saying? I couldn't say exactly what I was doing in that moment. Cause that's like KD winning the MVP trophy. Oh no, nah, that's like Michael Jordan. Now, who that was you, crying? You, that was Michael Jordan crying with that holding it. Who that was? Uh, yeah, that Mike, you Mike. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's equivalent. The Grammy, that's equivalent. Absolutely. Well, hell yeah, I'm gonna cry then. That is his soldier. That is soldier boy. Yeah, 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 that's right the ultimate. That's the ultimate payoff. I want to thank you and you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he talking about he talking about that shit still hurts to this day. Yeah. Still hurts just probably while yeah. I'm still doing it, but he wouldn't have yeah. cried. I don't know though. I, I don't know what I would have did. I probably would though. I Nigga would have been up there. 
Uh, he'd have been walking to the stage like, I just beat out Kanye. Yeah. Who else was getting voted, nominated? I don't know. I just remember Kanye. Damn, that's the only nigga he wanted to beat. Let yeah. me beat Kanye. Oh, man. I was so mad. Because <laughs> Kanye was so motherfucking big at the time. What? I could, like, well, he's, big. he's humongous. still humongous now, but yeah. he was so... You know, in his prime, as far as yeah, nah, he, he got that. You, you, yeah, making that shit that if you would have if you would have beat Kanye, that would have definitely. I mean, it was a hell of an accomplishment just being announced, but sure. beating Kanye, yeah, you'd have cried. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> you'd have first of all, no, he'd have been right here, right now. I'm the first hey, nigga hey, to beat Kanye. Hey, 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 okay, you're right. 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 I'm the first rapper to cry on fucking stage at the Grammys. Oh, damn. After being Kanye. After being Kanye. I'm trying to be the first nigga to light a blunt at the Grammys. Uh, you, you, I, Bro, I, 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 well, I can tell you one thing. You'll be the first nigga to get locked up at the <laughs> Grammys. <laughs> you, you're going to have two more first. I'm the first nigga to light a blunt and get locked the fuck up, dragged out. to be done. <laughs> <laughs> Real fucking talk. The white folks will drag yeah, you the like, fuck out of there fast quick. as shit. Like I'm trying to smoke in that but, Get it? I'm trying to make history, man. Come because on, at man. the end of the day. It would have been worth it, though. You know, at the Grammys. It, they ain't going to kick Big Draco out. But shit, at the Grammys, you sit next to Betty White. She 108 <laughs> years old. You sparked the blunt. <laughs> she like this. Is that a reef of high smell? <laughs> she turned around, you back there. She make it clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her Betty to make it clap. Betty, hey, soldier exotics. <laughs> Get hey, yourself. Nigga stupid, bro. It's good for you back <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> real, <laughs> real, <laughs> real tough. Think Betty got your ass <laughs> thrown out there, motherfucker. Okay. So. <laughs> now nah, you right, though. Yeah, but like, so, like, you got anything movies coming up or TV shows or. I got a couple like TV projects I'm working on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really want to start getting into movies and stuff, but I'm really focused on the music. Like, that shit, people don't understand. That shit take time. Yeah. Damn, in the movie, that shit ain't just quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the script be long as hell. Then you got to take off like six months. Then you be in a whole nother city. I'm focused on my music. Like, I got tours. I got, I'm here with, with Gilly and Wilder. Like, I'm, I'm not, I, I can't be doing no, you know what I'm saying? Right. But when I get enough time for my schedule, I've been trying to find the time to do that shit for like years. But like, People don't understand when you doing it ain't like multitask. I can multitask and run my label and rap and do my businesses. But movies, that's how niggas fall off trying to rap and act at the same time. You only can do one, bro. Right. Do you feel like you one of the uh like biggest entrepreneurs at your age right now? Hell in the world? yeah. What? Man, my company just went I can't really say that on the shit. shit. <laughs> but my company just you know what I'm saying? Like I'm bro, I'm solidified. I got Nintendo trying to buy my video game company right now. I got Google. I'm in the talks with the CEOs. Like I'm a, I'm a whole nother thing, bro. Do you you think you deserve a star on the Walk of Fame? I don't want to sound cocky or nothing like that. So I just sit back and let the folks, whoever decide that, y'all decide. I think you deserve one. You didn't, I mean, listen, how you gonna be the first nigga to do it all did this anything shit? and rap? A fact, you know, but you know, I'm the first nigga wrapped over Michael Jackson sample. This nigga, the first thing he did everything. I did a lot of stuff first, Gilly. But you know how that is. I'm like, oh, he cocky. He, woo. I'm just gonna sit back. If I get one, I get one. If not, it is what it is. How much you spent in, on jewelry in your career? Shit. <laughs> Jewelry and cars. I don't even want to say that number. Them folks might get mad at me. Like this nigga spent that much on jewelry. But, yeah, I spent a lot on jewelry, bro. That's my favorite thing, though. Like, yeah. You know what I'm What's saying? What's your favorite I piece? I love jewelry, bro. Like, my favorite piece, like right now, yeah. this Cartier. This Cartier, nigga. Rose gold, nigga. This the pointers. This the one right here. This the motherfucker. How you feeling? Like, Superman. What's your favorite chain? My favorite chain. Like, that I got? Yeah. yeah. Shit. I'm probably just say, like, my first chain I ever got. That Soldier Boy Tell Them chain. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite chain. Because, like, that was my first like purchase, like my first big right. real chain. You know what I'm saying? You can't never forget that first one. I, I don't want to know the price, but how much did that chain cost compared to the chains you buy now? Oh no, that motherfucker was nasty, nah. Oh, that you? you so you well, want you want all the yeah. way nasty yeah, with the front of the gate? Well, huh? You know, I had that M out the gate. I had that M out the gate. I had oh, all the M out the gate. Oh yeah, okay. So you want so, nasty well, on them right out? It was the like one twenty five, bro. Blue diamonds, yellow diamonds. That motherfucker was nasty. 125. You still break it out from time to time? Yeah. I, I, I just feel like 
them pieces is like the ones you hang up on. A, you know what I'm saying? Them shits got their time. It's 2021. I bought that chain like 2007, 2008. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them pieces is the shit you just put in the shit and just have it. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? I bring out the new, the new drip. Like, right. every every season got its season for the jury. Like, how often you change your jury? Or do you just as like, as like or, or you like you like I'm done now. I ain't even getting no more jewelry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm I do, finished. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I go through seasons. You know what I'm saying? Like So I, you might it's fall now and then spring come, yeah, I need some new jewelry. Yeah. Cuz like I I still love it. I still love it. Like I remember a time when I was like, man, I ain't buying no more jewelry. Then you know what I'm saying? But it's just like it's just like a girl, bro. It's just like a house is like a car. Like I love jewelry. It's like a necessity. What's the most you ever spent on a woman? Uh, the most I ever spent on a woman. Shh. At one t- at one time, like mm, you didn't drop some bag. He, he, I mean, I spent a lot on my mama though. You know what I'm saying? That's cars. That's no, house. no, no, no. We nigga, ain't talking about the fuck you no, mean your no. mama, nigga. We ain't talking about your mama, nigga. Shout out, to my, shout out to Bob. You Dukes. said my mom. Like, you said you, you said a woman, bro. Nigga, I nigga, you did the fuck. Oh, what you talking about? Oh, talking about? <laughs> you know what the fuck we talking about? How much? How much? How many bags you didn't drop? Oh, the pussy. <laughs> crazy. I mean, shit, you know how that goes. <laughs> no, no, no. What the fuck? Is... <laughs> come on, <laughs> Gilly. Don't do me like that, man. No. Hey, let me be like, so the way you be tricking. Like, come on, man. I do what I... Listen, no, you, know, you Wayne, ain't tricking. Wayne said it, it ain't tricking if you got it. It ain't. I just feel like... Now, we moved on as a motherfucking lie. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I, I, I have fun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If she... You know what I'm saying? Come on, now. Come on. Gilly, what you trying to do to me up here on this? Oh, if she have a fun, you spend a ton? What you just said? <laughs> if if she if she a bunch of fun, you spend a ton. Okay, okay. Nah, I just feel like like it's off the vibe, like who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like it just happened. We having this shit. Gilly nigga might just pull out a hundred bands. Like you know what I'm saying? Damn. Damn, so you done dropped a hundred on I ain't say all that. <laughs> yes, you did, nigga. I ain't say it. Yes, I did. said a nigga might pull out a hundred man. man. I ain't hey, say a nigga gonna spend a hundred hey, man. Hey, the bitch is gonna be on your top after this week. So your boy drops a hundred and one surf. Yeah, <laughs> all the bitches on, in man. his DM, hey, man. Man. We getting money, man. Yeah. Yeah, we know you know you get money. That's why I asked you how much you ever dropped. Yeah. Hundred bands. Ooh, I ain't say that. And though. one motherfucking time, she had the golden pussy. I ain't say that. Huh? I ain't she had the GP. I ain't say that. I had a bad. Huh. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is also brought to you by Credit Karma Money. Credit Karma Money is a brand new checking account where you can win cash reimbursements for making purchases. When you use your Credit Karma Money debit card, you can win daily instant, I'm talking about instant karma purchase reimbursements on items up to $5,000. Just pay with your debit card and if you win, you'll be notified on the spot. I'm talking about on the spot, they're gonna notify you. Your instant karma cash will be added back to your spend account. Credit Karma Money has already given over $3 million in instant karma to over 50,000 Credit Karma members and counting. Open your FDIC insurer spend account for free. I'm talking about for free. There's no minimum balances, requirements, no overdraft fees, and free withdrawals from a network of over 50,000 ATMs. When you make a purchase from July 1st to July 23rd, listen, I'm talking about so you still got time. You'll be automatically entered to win $1 million. I'm talking about automatically. Credit Karma money. I'm talking about, listen. What is you waiting for? Get down. I'm talking about what you need to do is you need to go to creditkarma.com, win money to open your free account and start winning instantly. Creditkarma.com, win money to sign up for free and start winning instantly. What are you waiting for? Huh? What are you waiting for? Get down now. Credit Karma money. Instant Karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary exclusions and terms apply. See rules, banking services provided by NDB Bank, Inc. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. Now listen, soldier. What's <laughs> top, you, you, you got a, today, yesterday, whoever, your top 10 rappers. My top 10 rappers? What you talking about, of all time? Yeah, that you fucking with. That you, yeah, your top 10. New niggas and old niggas? All that shit. Shit, nigga. Okay. Uh, First of all, it's Lil Pee Wee in there. Hell no. Nah. That's my dog, though. I love Bow Wow, but come on, man. Like, that's that's a young nigga. Like, he young. I listen to niggas like 50 Cent, Gucci Mane, motherfucking um, Jay-Z, motherfucking... Um, damn, it's a lot of young niggas, too. I like a lot come of on, young niggas. Like 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 too. Name them young it's niggas. Your 
I don't know. That's two. Let me see. Ten. Um, you got three already. They're my three right there. Though. I could just ride out with them, though. Let me see. Who else on that? Wayne. Mm -hmm. That nigga hard. Um, sh how was that? Four? Shit. Uh, who else go hard like that? Goo up in there, right? Goo, I'm good with goo up. Just give me goo up. I grew up off goo up, bro. Goo up and 50 cent. Them the niggas that, that, that's why I'm right here in front of y'all having this shit. You feel what I'm saying? 50 cent and goo up. I don't really know no more rappers like that. Soldier Boy, got down shit. Well, that's five, okay. Five. That's it. You ain't got no young niggas that you fuck with? I like, oh yeah, I like young niggas. Okay, I'm, I'm getting my five young niggas. Young niggas. NBA young boy. Um, Future. Drake, no, just Drake. I put Drake on there. Yeah. Salsa and motherfucking um, who the last Lil Lil Dirt? Oh no, 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 Tay, Lil Baby, Lil Baby. It's a tie, Lil Baby and Lil Dirt. Okay, it's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie. Huh? Okay. Are we gonna let we gonna let that one? Swim? It's a tie. Because usually we make you leave a nigga out. Uh, yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, it's, but, it's, yeah, it's a tie. They just well, dropped the group album. Put them in there together. All right, so we go. We gonna let you get away with that. <laughs> okay. We gonna let you get away, with, you get that away with that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You've been in the game 14 years. That's a long right? time. Yeah, I've been in the game 14 years, bro. I'm still here. I feel like, and then what the crazy part is, I feel like I'm just getting started. Yeah, you're still young. I feel like still, I got still, so much shit to do. Like, I be fucking me. I'm like, damn. Like, people be telling me that I don't even feel like it's been like that long. Like, what's the best studio session you ever been in? Shit. Where you left, you was like, that was a motherfucker. It was vibe. monstrous. That was monstrous. That was legendary last night. You felt good when you wake up in the morning. You just wanted to play the records. You had to call niggas, man, I was fucked up, man. We them Probably like Kanye, 50, and Diddy. Like just them studio, like, you know what I'm saying? When we get in, when we locked in, that shit was just different. Like, especially Kanye, like when he making music, bro, like that shit was different. I'm like, damn, I'm like, you feel me? But I feel like that made me a better artist too. He yeah. ain't, he ain't even knew it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I I just go off like creativity. He really being uh just like, I need it to sound like this. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I need you. To do. I'm like, brother, what the fuck? Like, but that shit made me better as a producer, better as an artist. So when I'm mixing and I'm recording this shit, I'm like, I, I could do that shit like Kanye. I could right. do that shit like Fifty. I could do that shit like you know what I'm saying? Like they they helped me get better too. Right. What, how was it working with Puff? Man, Puff, bro. Puff be having, like, that's Puff, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I just be learning. When I be in the session, when we be in the sessions. But we be building, though, because it's like I be making, I be producing, too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there working. But, like, when I'm listening to what he be making, like, he just be on a whole nother level, like, when it comes to, like, creating. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of be, like, soaking up game type shit. Which he be soaking up game too, cause he's like, bro, I like this. I want you, I want you to make this beat for me. Ooh, ooh. And I make something and then I listen to what he working on and it just be dope. It's just like learning, it's just like a learning process. Whether you going in there with just a young nigga and y'all just rocking, you know what I'm saying? Right. You're going in there with a nigga that got twenty year, thirty years on you experience. Right. Then, so what so you saying with with young niggas, y'all just go to the studio, smoke some weed, throw a beat just on. Go in there, bitch, and rock just turn out. it up. You know what I'm saying? But that a lot of time that's the shit that go cause it's young, wild, and free. Yeah. It ain't yeah. overthought, it ain't overproduced. It's not overthought about, and a lot of times those records be the records that go because it's like, damn, dog, you be sitting back and you like, I sold a million records and he was just fucking around. That's how I be feeling about a lot of songs. I be telling people that like the best songs is just like when you when you just having fun. We was just in mm -hmm. the studio fucking around. And we came up with some funny, catchy shit. Said, fuck it, man, you might as well lay it. I laid the shit, and then after I laid the shit, I was like, this shit kind of hot, though. Yeah. And then everybody I laid yeah. here was like, no, this really the one right here. Yeah. And y'all like, Yo, you like, I was just playing with this shit. Yeah, like. I did a song like that, bro. I got a song called Ricky Morty, bro. It's going viral right now as we speak, like with millions of plays. And I literally was just like, like bullshitting, and everybody know it. But the shit came out hard, though. I right. was freestyling on Twitch like live, just like Ricky Morty, Rick, Rick. You know what I'm saying? And that shit going, that shit got millions of plays right now. That shit going up. Man. I got a whole nother deal off of that song. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like same, just how you just said. I was just fucking around. Right. How, how many different deals you had? Like, oh, damn! You said you got a whole nother deal off that. Now, when you going into, she me clap. When you going, when you going to the studio, how you going in there? How you preparing for your shit? You just going in. Man, I just be in the zone. Do you write or do you punch in? 
both. Like, all right, let me start capping up here. I ain't wrote a song in like 10 years. I don't write, I just be rapping. Like, I just go in there and rap. I just say whatever comes, you know what I'm saying? But that's how I made all my hits, though. Like, I never really just, you feel me? But when I'm, when I'm like, my album that I got right now, I got a lot of features on there. I got a lot of, like, good music on there. I feel like, you know, I'm just in the zone. Like, when you get in your bag, like, mm-hmm. you just be in your bag. I feel like everything I made, been making, after she, she make it clap, just been going. Everything just been going, going, mm-hmm. going. So, um, my process, bro, I just, I, I'm in the studio every day. I got a home recording studio at my house, and I got a studio out here in LA that I go to, like when I feel like having right. that 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 real vibe. When you feel like getting away from home. Yeah, so I, I'm recording every day. I always I record every day, and um, I just bro, I make the beat first, rock out to the beat, and rap over it. If I don't make the beat, I vibe. I listen to the beat a couple seconds, and I just go and say what come to me. You don't. You only do your own beats though. I I like producers beats too. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like that shit is a whole. Process like I trying like trying to get shit clear, yeah, trying like, to pay for shit. Yeah, and. I mean it's cool now. Nah, everybody fucking with me, so like niggas just give me shit. But it's like when you when you working and then like you got a cash nigga out thirty thousand to twenty thousand, and then it's just a hell, boy. You got me. I can make this shit myself. Yeah. Did, have you ever? Did you ever get to a point where you felt like everybody fucking with you, then they kind of back up off you. Now everybody fucking with you again. Did you ever get to that kind of point where you felt like that? I kind of felt like I wasn't fucking with niggas. Oh, okay. It was you know the other way around. It was kind of like I was fucking with everybody, and then I was just like, man, hold on. I'm like, what the fuck? Let me chill for a minute. Like, I got, I'm talking, I'm kicking with too many niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of looked like that. Probably if you from the outside, like, and then probably like, niggas ain't fucking with soldiers right now. But like, I wasn't fucking with niggas. Niggas was in my DMs every day. Yeah. Now you back popping, you, do you notice your phone ring a little bit more? I'm talking about, you got a song that's rolling, you about to, you notice your phone now, ring. Now, that's a, a fact. More. Like, my shit be, all day, every day. But that's a part of the game, though. I understand how the game go. And when you understand how the game go, you could you could play yeah. the game properly. You know right. what I mean? So you Anybody know, out there who you, who you ain't getting that booth yet with, did you want to do a song with? Did you, is there anybody? Jay-Z. And that's it? That's it. I did a song with everybody else. I want to do a song with 50 Cent Bad. I did a song with him. I want to do a song with Gucci Man. I did a song with him. I did song with Wayne, I did song. I did song with everybody, but goddamn, I want to do a song with Jay Z, bro. That's why I'm kind of like, I feel like that's. I got a lot of still reason why I'm still rapping, bro. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas be having you them little bits and pieces. Off, huh? Yeah, what? I need that Jay Z, bro. Can be like, bro? Jay Z didn't. Come on. <laughs> he trying to check that hove off his bucket list and shit. Yeah, yeah, get this shit done. I need that verse, bro. Hove long as hove don't give you the B, then another B, and then another B. Like, I didn't like that verse. You know, I'm a whole fan. Yeah. But I didn't like, I got a beat, then another beat, then the other beat. Did you forget about the other beat? I didn't like that. But yeah. hopefully he won't give you that, that drink right there. You know, be like that. Shout be out like to Hov. You know, greatest of all time. I need a verse, man. You know what I mean? Is Hov your greatest of all time? Um, shit. Hmm. Yeah, he up there. Yeah, he number one for sure. Then, then right behind him is like Eminem. Like Eminem up there too. You fuck with Eminem? Have you ever did a record with Eminem? Nah. Wasn't you really your style, your type? I ain't gonna say that, but you know, I just never, just did, never I just happened. Never did a song with him. I mean, I just figured because you know you make, you know, vibe music. We want to, you know what I mean? And Eminem is a, a lyrical, you know, he's a political, he's a political, he's a political, he's a political, you know what I mean? So I just figured you, you know, a lot of shit don't make sense. You know what I mean? It's like I yeah. fuck with him, he that guy, but it really don't make sense for me. So, uh, man, you got anything else you want to promote? You want to sh- shout out for you? Get out here, man. Big Draco. Um, I don't know. I might change the album title, though. From Big Draco? Yeah. To what? I was the first. I was the first. Or just first? I was the first. July 28th. I was the first. I was damn, the hold first. Wait, did this man just change his motherfucking name of his album right here on me and Oscar for Game? I was the first. From Big Draco to I was the first? I was the first. July 28th. Mm. My, my album from the job. This is, I got it. Them, I got some shit, y'all. Gilly, I got some. Them labels who, crazy who, who on it? And they fuck with me. Oh, uh, Ti. Mm. Uh, who else? I got? I got a bunch of people. Omarion. Mm. Uh, shit, Chief Keef. Mm. Oh, you got Keef so so on there. Huh? I, was, I've been, uh, I don't know so many people. I'm trying. I don't want to forget nobody. I've been in the studio. With everybody. Right now. Who, who, uh, shit. I don't know, bro. I'm gonna play y'all some songs though. It's a lot of motherfuckers on there. Though. A lot of motherfuckers oh, on yeah, there. For real. Shout out to uh, I did it. 
I did it first. July I did it first. I was the first. I was, I was the, the first. first. July twenty eighth. I was the first. July twenty eighth. Yeah. Album. Let's go. It's going down. What that shit. Give me a skit or some y'all niggas funny as hell. Get on that motherfucker talking some shit. I did it first, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? What's wrong yeah, with you? I need a skit. I need a skit. We gonna talk on that. I was the first. <laughs> y'all niggas funny. Fuck is the matter with you niggas? What? Look at it. I was the first to jaywalk with a platinum record. I was the first pimp in prison. I was the first. To <laughs> I was the, what, nigga? What the fuck? You stop that shit. Out of fuck out of here. That nigga stupid as fuck, bro. Yeah, he had it. Y'all niggas need a TV show, bro. Yo, you ain't know he was. He was really pimp in prison. He had Ricky Minaj and Kevin the Stallion. Fuck out of here, you lying motherfucker. Yeah. You believe in this shit, Drake? Oh, okay, come on, my man. fault. Come on, that man. nigga, that bullshit, nigga Drake, saying bro. that shit. That nigga saying that shit like he mean. No, I, I do he's beat he's it. Fuck a lie. This nigga fucking lie. Listen, if you watch the show consistently, you would know I beat it, and you know I'm telling the truth. That's why he want to get physical. He yeah, wants to get, get physical. Drago was going to get physical with you, but that's another story. No, see, stop, don't, don't he was going to tighten you the fuck up. Don't do that. No, I see like, what I see. We, we cool now. You know what I mean? It's, Younger, all, uh, it's all straight. We, we already cable called okay. me a bald head broke nigga, man. I, love, I, love, I, let, I let him I love get away with that shit. That was me. And he said, I was a bald head broke nigga. It was cool at the time. I ain't never been dead pop like a stolen car. He was, but that's another story, man. He said, I ain't never been. <laughs> yes, I good. had a bankroll in yeah. around. Fuck it, bro. I had a bankroll. You feel me? Hey, <laughs> hey, he said it's so believable, though. You, you broke, broke ass, ass nigga. <laughs> you old nigga. <laughs> Fucking broke ass nigga. You got water on your knees, Fuck. nigga. Then, 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 what made it, then what made it real funny is he said, I ain't letting you come to fuck up off me, nigga. <laughs> I got money, nigga. <laughs> I said, this nigga crazy. I was sitting back watching that shit laughing through my way. Like, this all nigga crazy. Love it. it was all love, man. So but cool. listen, man, we appreciate you for coming yes, through, man. I don't know, man. Big Draco, I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Big shout out to Gilly, man. Keep doing your thing. Yeah. Big shout out to Wally. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, bro. Stop, man. I appreciate, appreciate y'all for having me. And hopefully, you know, we do this shit again. But you already is, man. know, man. Much Anytime, love, man. man. Anytime oh, you want to come up, man, the, the platform is yes. for, for for young niggas, man. Our whole model is we don't want to compete with you. We want to eat with you. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, so sure. we embrace the young niggas to, yeah. to have a voice. That's hard. And, and, That's dope, and you know, bro. talk about some shit that you don't normally talk about. Yeah. Let people see you in a different light than than what they always see you in. You know what I'm saying? Let them see you discuss some things that they never see you discuss. So that's what for me sure. and Osworth and Game is about. Yeah. Appreciate you for coming, little bro, man. Love, bro. Keep being great. That's 14 love. years yeah. in the motherfucking game. I, I wish you another 14, man. Yeah, thank you, and man. it's just like that. Right.